Hello YouTube and welcome to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be reviewing what is inside this package. As you can see, the shipper wrote fragile on it. Because we all know, if you want to send something and you don't want them to mess it up, you just wrap it in paper and then you write fragile on it. That way people know to handle it with care. And it will never be dented or anything. So, you know, just take some valuables, wrap them in paper, put a label on it, and then write fragile. And as we all know, that's all you need to do. Whoever's shipping it, FedEx, Postal Service, UPS, it's all they require. Write fragile on it, and you're good to go. Some paper, some tape. That's all I need. Okay. A manila envelope. Wrapped in some U.S. Postal Service bubble wrap, single, single layer bubble wrap. As you can see, tin can. I don't know if you hear this. Well, it sure sounds like whatever is in there is not in one piece. Let's see if I can open it without busting it even further. There we go. And there we have it. The perfectly put together, not dented at all, can of Pringles. As you can see, still all in one piece. All because you wrote fragile on it. Thank you, eBay person. Let's take off this cracked and dented top. And as you can see, what I have here is the Top Ramen Chicken flavored Pringles. Let's see if there's even one in here that's in one piece. It doesn't look good. Well, I should still be able to get at least some flavor out of this. Let's see if it tastes like chicken ramen. You know what? The flavor actually does have that that chicken powder flavor to it that you get from ramen. And uh, it's really it's kind of it's light. Well, hello there. How are you doing? Can I help you? You want to say hello to the people on the YouTube? Say hello to the people on the YouTube. Okay, now get away. Anyway, back to the review. We have the Top Ramen Nissan chicken flavored. And I'm pretty sure there's not a single full chip in here. But it does have that ramen flavor to it. It's lighter. Not a super strong chicken flavor, but it's there. It 
because it's potato and not a noodle, it does have a, like it doesn't taste exactly like it because you're getting a potato flavor instead of I think ramen is usually like a wheat, a wheat flour based noodle. But uh, all these pieces. aren't terrible. Now would I buy them again? Not from this guy. Apparently these are only available in Dollar General stores. Uh, the two that I went to didn't have them and when I asked about them they thought I was crazy. So, I got them off of eBay. I don't know if that was the greatest choice. But I did get to try them. And, what do you have to say? They taste like chicken ramen. They taste like a cheap chicken powder flavor. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I honestly don't know. Nissan chicken is probably one of the cheapest and less flavorful ramens you can get. There was a, a good YouTuber who actually taste tested this, these back to back with some Nissan top ramen. Um, his name is the Ramen Raider. He has a, a pretty good channel. He rates a, a lot of different ramens. That's all he does. Um, it was a good idea and when I saw it I wished I would have thought of it first and I almost copied him but I decided not to but I will endorse him go ahead and watch his channel it's pretty good I'm going to give the Pringles Top Ramen Chicken Flavor and I'm going to have to refrain from basing this on the fact that there's no full chips in here because I'm not rating the eBay seller, I'm trying to rate the Pringles. And in doing so, I will give this a 7 out of 10. It does good by tasting like top ramen chicken, but even if you 100% taste like that, you're only getting a 7 out of 10. So I'm pretty generous. 7 out of 10. With the Pringles Top Ramen Chicken Flavor. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and until next time guys, bye.